Hello, this is not a spring chicken. As you can see, we're getting ready to have a gourmet dish. And well, as things in the economy are going, eat it because you never know when it might be your last. Oh yeah, does that have anything to do with the ups and downs, the roller coaster ride of our market as? It's not only SNP. Oh, wait a minute. What was that? What is that ratings firm? They issued a buy order on the U.S. who shares, oh, we're selling like hotcakes in Europe. Oh, it wasn't the good hotcakes going up. It happened to be the other direction. Well, for now, we're going to bring all the camera on with comments on the headlines of today. Obama gives us a preview of releases. What he will be sharing with on how to build the economy. <laughs> That's sort of why I have Mary Jane, uh, Mary Jane Obama out because he's obviously on something. And the stock market drops. Oh God! I mean, he basically told they let it loose. That well, everybody knew that he's got his infrastructure bank and he wants green energy jobs and this and that. But he let it loose last night. We need a trillion dollars in new taxes on the wealthy who are not participating fairly, and we need uh, we we need a trillion dollar jobs program. To, you know, the government, we need to set up a job czar and set up a department of jobs in the cabinet so that we can make certain that there, this never happens again, which means he wants a trillion dollar entitlement program to put people to work doing government jobs. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I did hear one of his people said, yeah, well, I'm not even bothered commenting about it because we know that the Republicans and George Bush and their extreme ideas will not approve anything to get this country going. And they said, no, it's not what I ask you. I ask you, didn't he say something ungodly stupid again? Well, George Bush and Republicans will never, uh, and then... The, oh, know, did they really do that? Yeah, uh, and then, I mean, for, then the guy really it's got... It's like, did you even listen to what I said? This is a left, this is a left, you know, leaning, uh, uh, you know, financial program, and he said, George Bush is not president, but George Bush and the Republicans are responsible for what's going on. George Bush is not the president. George Bush will not allow changes to be made. George Bush is not president. George Bush is what is driving this economy bad. And they said, I asked you a question about Obama, and you refused that because George Bush is behind everything. They basically, they, I, mean, I mean, like, uh, yesterday... Do they have people, any idea how stupid that sounds? His, his people announced the fact that, that we need to have more people on food stamps and welfare because it will make the economy grow. Because everyone knows that for every one dollar in welfare money spent, our food stamp money spent, a dollar sixty-five was returned. And they point out, no, you lose a dollar sixty-five. No! George Bush and the Republicans are responsible for pushing that phony evidence. And he said, no, it comes from the Department of Agriculture. Uh, who runs the food stamp program? You lose a dollar sixty-five, which is why no one wants to participate in the program. George Bush is responsible for putting that on. I mean, that's all they could talk about for days because the more stupid Obama gets, the more George Bush is blamed. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, George Bush is stupid as a mud hen. Uh, he's got two master's degrees. He went to Yale and Harvard. But George Bush doesn't have enough sense. He's got business degrees and he's got a degree in private science. George Bush is not very bright. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not president, and the Republicans aren't in control. The Democrats don't even put a budget up, and they basically complain. So that's why Mary Jane Obama's out, folks. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that the Obama buses were built in Canada. Oh, I, I love this. I heard a, a, a very left black comedian last night. He said, uh, he said that that black man in the White House driving those black buses didn't even have the courage to go into a black neighborhood. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and then they said, well, they probably stole the hubcaps. Well, but that's beside the point. So, <laughs> you know. Well, they're having the whole... They're well, having fun with it. He is just fodder to the late night comedian. Well, because he's basically... I mean, I heard the guy said, I thought that I'd never see anybody as bad as George Bush. And he said, this man, you know, in the middle of a massive crisis, get her done. Someday. <laughs> <laughs> the UN considers tribunal as Syria holds hundreds in stadium. They ain't got to do anything because Syria controls the... Okay, basically there's some massive supporters of the Iranians. You think the Iranians are going to, to let anything happen to Syria? No. Mm -hmm. And Syria's got awful wealthy folks. It is basically it's an oil country. 
and they're not going to do anything to them either because it's been a dictatorship. There is nobody really, there's, okay, what happens is, is it's not like uh, we were in, you know, the Revolutionary War. It's not like in most revolutions where people, Russians had guns, Russians hunted and fished, all that stuff. So they could actually have a revolution accounted. They don't allow guns in countries, and in Arab countries, where there's a dictator. Mm. And Wisconsin Democrats keep their Senate seats and recall votes. Yeah, I love this. They, they didn't have any opposition. Yeah. No, no opposition whatsoever against them. They won in two heavily Democratic districts, and, they, uh, and it turns out that they're the ones that put the recall petition themselves up to show how strong they were. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought that that was rather strange. You're going to try to recall two Democratic, in two Democratic strongholds, the Union strongholds? It was because they did the recall on themselves to show that, you know, well, it's all over for the Republicans because they couldn't take these two Democratic seats. Well, they didn't try. That's, I understand why Mary Jane is out, folks. That's really yeah. You know, sometimes it's hard to stop laughing. <laughs> well, okay, you couldn't, if you were writing a situation comedy, you couldn't write it as ridiculous as what's going on in American politics at the moment. And Obama, another year or more for housing turnaround. Uh, it will be at least until after the next election before this housing would turn around. But uh, you have to understand, we inherited a bad problem from George Bush and the Republicans. And George Bush and the Republicans have just made the situation worse with their pro with their lending policies from the banks, and that they have, you know, they're hurting the average working man. And George Bush and the Republicans, you know, are, something is going to have to be done. We need to take this country back from George Bush and the Republicans. That was, I mean, there's a common thread besides Mary Jane that they don't really understand. George Bush isn't president. Well, actually, you know why? Who is the only truly independent candidate that's running for election in 2012? Who? Barack Obama. Oh, that's right. Barack Obama. I, you know, they, he, he actually did say this. I'm the only independent one running for the presidency. Uh, you know raised. what? You almost feel like we should have like a page of uh, political gaffes. Oh, well, if what happens is he doesn't, okay, sometimes, okay, well, here's what, okay, here's a bit. He doesn't have his teleprompter. He's got his mic. Oh, oh, yeah, you know that George Bush and the Republicans are responsible for this, and, uh, oh, yeah, I got a response to that. George Bush and the Republicans did it. Oh, yeah, I have a response to your question. I'm the only true independent man. I owe allegiance to neither party, mm -hmm. which sort of shocked the Democrats that are around. They're all Democrats. Oh, and That's I'm the a only really good quote. Oh, God. I mean, he's, you take him off. Uh, he gets hyper when he gets off of I, Because I think what it is, he's like the frightened little kid. When you take his you teleprompter know, his, away, you know, like Linus, if you take his, you know, his teleprompter away, he doesn't know what to do. He gets hyper. He starts bouncing around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, what is it? Bachman poses for a 2012 conservative woman's calendar. Yeah, it's, okay. I can remember a few years ago, uh, uh, well, Reba McIntyre posed for a calendar. Couldn't figure out why it was selling, and her husband said because you looked like you were your great grandmother. What? Yeah, you gotta buy it. Uh, you know, they're all gonna be in three-piece business suits. All the women. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not. You couldn't even. Uh, the, 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 you tell me who's gonna buy a Republican woman in a three-piece business suit, folks. And on trading floors, fear of what tomorrow will bring. Because the day was bigger. Actually, here's what it said specifically. God, we're scared of what this man in the White House is going to say tomorrow. Well. Well, okay. You know, on top of telling everybody he's got, he's, he, he wants to spend more money and raise taxes, and the only cuts are going to be from the defense, which basically spends lots of money and puts people to work. He he going after the credit. He, he's included Moody's in the thing. Moody's give him a positive outlook. They give him the first to make certain he had three stars and. And then, but they, they give him a negative rating, which basically pissed him off, saying that there was not, you know, they were going to review it on a weekly basis, which means he found out they're getting ready to dump us. Uh -oh. So he's taking a preemptive strike against Moody's. But they, this doesn't work, folks, because those, those people run the world. It's just like uh, uh, I worked on a movie once uh, with Presidents Analyst where AT&T was responsible for everything that was going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a Monty bubble isn't for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, the, the presses fell so low 
uh, it, that they can't even make credible manufacturer stories anymore. Oh yeah, like what? <laughs> yeah. <You know>. Oh. <laughs>